morning, everyone. Bring my tongue on some hot tea. It's gonna take a little sip of my tea and got a big gulp of it instead. <laughs> Don't recommend that. Hit a bump funny and whoops. Had a great weekend. Had fun with my niece and nephew. Just 90 ahead. Oh, it looks like we're entering a town. I've never been here in my life, not even with my personal vehicle. Not very often that work brings me to a place I haven't been in route person before in my personal vehicle because I've been to so many places. New Hazelton. We are pretty much the furthest north that Highway 16, Trans Canada Highway 16 takes us. Now we're going to start heading south again. We're headed west towards the coast to Terrace. Not all the way to the coast, an hour and a half away from the coast, give or take. It's raining. Yeah, we uh, cut a bunch of trees down in the backyard. Brother-in-law had the chainsaw out. Cheers out and start stacking firewood. They're green wood, so it's not gonna be good wood for this year, but they bought a new property up there, so starting to make the property what they want it to be. That was fun. It's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Also some painting in the in the bedrooms, getting it set up. They haven't moved in yet, still lots of stuff is in boxes and 50. So he took the nephew's uh, bedroom and uh, he wanted uh, trees on his wall. So we started taping up a big tree. Trees are so easy to make. You just start wide on the bottom and do some random shapes and just get narrower and narrower as you go and make random branches. And they just get narrower and narrower. It was fun. Then we painted it, took the tape off, turned it really nice. It's not done yet, but we had fun doing that. Just enjoyed helping that. That was fun. nice little communities up here kind of like is that a greenhouse a third story greenhouse there's a third story greenhouse I want one <laughs> third story greenhouse that is awesome you gonna make it quick here well, I'll let him pass if he wants to but Yeah, so awesome weekend. Haven't done our chopping for the weekend yet, but we can't unload this till tomorrow morning. So we're gonna head to Terrace, drop off our trailers and do our chopping there. Well, that's a cool tourist info. Some tree climbing and some... Yeah, very cool. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm seeing new stuff. If it wasn't for all the clouds and rain, we would be seeing some spectacular mountains here. Every now and then it clears up just enough to get a hint of what's in the background. There's glaciers and yeah, it's, we have to come back here. Definitely have to come back this way. Hopefully on a clearer day, because there are huge mountains in the background. Gorgeous, gorgeous drive. And then forests of birch trees. I haven't seen that before. And BC is always evergreens everywhere, but oh, he's getting ready for hunting. It's 
So, uh, yesterday when we left Prince George, holy smokes was I spinning out my tires. Just digging, 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 getting that out of Prince George for that climb because we had snow. A lot of snow just coming down hard. So we were driving quite slow for yeah, about an hour. We were slow and then it started Vanderhoof, it stopped, started turning into rain and then kept going a little longer. Until I felt tired. I wasn't expecting a snowfall. All the forecasts were calling for rain. But yeah, it was kind of fun. Aside from the climbing where I thought for sure I had to get out and chain up, but it made it up. It made it up. And today it's all rain, rain, rain. It's a couple of degrees warmer today. It's plus one yesterday in Prince George. And today it's plus five, so could still turn into ice. And then tomorrow we have to head back through Prince George and through Jasper, if none of the plans have changed. So there's a chance we're chaining up tomorrow. I haven't looked at the roads that way yet on Drive BC, but uh, we'll do that probably tonight. They change so fast, so no point to really looking until you're ready to go that way. Maybe wait till tomorrow morning to check. See, right in front of us, there's a mountain in front. It's just a wall straight up, so there's definitely a big mountain right in front of us. I don't think it's going to clear up for us tomorrow going back. It's going to be much more of the same according to the forecast. It's trying to rain harder now. That's something that I also I really noticed is quadding trails along the side of highways all over the place. People don't trailer their quads. I think they just jump on their quad from at home and go out into the forest. are kind of showing themselves a little bit here. Just a little bit. Just kind of giving you a hint. I don't see any snow covered ones, but there's shorter mountains here. Giving a hint of that we are in big mountain. Last night running in the snow was fun too. We were driving about 20 to 30 kilometers below the speed limit. The only part where I was really, really tense and really, really paying attention, well, I'm always paying attention, but like tense, focus, probably, probably uh, tunnel vision. I was when we were climbing out of Prince George and I was spinning the tire. It's like really feel the engine, know what gear to be in. Just work it up. And it turned out okay. If it's still snow there tomorrow when we're going down, I'll have to make sure I go down nice and slow starting at the top. But we'll see if it warmed up or cooled down by then. A 
lot of swampy little lakes along the highway. You see lots of those. And then there's beautiful rivers too. We've, we've some, seen some beautiful sights along the river so far, or along the road so far. We kind of avoid these ruts where the puddle of waters are. Save some fuel by not pushing all that water out of the way. By being out of the ruts. Now there's a little rest area. Not big rig friendly at all. There's a cabin in there, in the swamp. Imagine they've got mosquitoes up here. So much swamp area, I imagine there'd be a lot of mosquitoes. Is there a road going to that cabin? Oh yeah, right there. Like a very rocky road. They've had to dump rocks into the swamp to build a cabin out there. Probably the whole cabin foundation they had to dump rocks. A beautiful Monday. You guys enjoy it and we will see you tomorrow. Be nice if the clouds cleared up and we could actually see the mountains. If we do I'll definitely shoot a video of that. And if not we'll shoot a video in rain. Or snow you never know. So have fun guys and hit that thumbs up.